Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Tuba Mebu from Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, UCSI University. On this prestigious platform of International Conference on Modern Medicine and Global Health 2024, I would like to present on Prenilated Chalcone from Bosenbergia Rotunda shows good binding affinities for MPRO, a molecular docking analysis. So COVID-19, a little bit introduction of COVID-19. As all of us, we are well aware of the recent pandemic caused by the zoonotic corona, sars coronavirus 2 And as of December 30, 2023, it has been resulted in more than 351 infections worldwide and also 3.7 million deaths globally. Multiple have, efforts have been basically utilized to control COVID-19, but these efforts are seriously hampered by a lack of conventional drugs. Of course, we do have vaccines, but there are numerous problems associated with the vaccines, which includes uneven distribution and also the several variant of concerns, uh, particularly efficacy varies with the different variant of concerns. So what scientists are doing here, basically they are trying to discover anti-SARS coronavirus 2 phytochemicals from the plant kingdom. So moving towards the plants which we have chosen for our study, which is Bosenbergia rotunda. So basically this is an important medicinal plant of the Thailand. It belongs to Zingiberaceae family and it is widely used as traditional medicine in all ASEAN countries. So a member from the same family, Zingiberaceae, commonly known as ginger, has gained recognition from the molecular docking studies as potential anti-COVID-19 therapeutic. So the aim of this study is to evaluate the phytochemicals from Bosenbergia for their binding affinities to MPRO of SARS coronavirus 2. A little bit on the docking, basically there are uh, four common benchmark tests for the docking study program, which include docking study with Hyperchem, DSHC, Autodoc Vena, RDoc, and S program. So uh, basically if we talk about the precision docking study uh, with Hyperchem DSAC comes first, followed by Autodoc Pina, then RDoc, and then S program. And if you look at the speed, basically the S program is the fastest, which takes only 13 seconds to run one test, followed by RDoc, which takes 44 seconds. And uh, Autodoc Pina and DSAC programs approximately takes 60 to 70 seconds for one test. So now why we have targeted MPRO or main protease protein of SARS coronavirus because this is the main protease for the SARS coronavirus 2 and it plays a crucial role in viral replication also important in virulent of this particular SARS coronavirus 2. So that's how it is considered as an important and attractive therapeutic target to inhibit the virus. And here we have the two active amino acids, which are present at the catalytic side of the main protease of SARS coronavirus 2, including histidine and cysteine, which are encircled here, and they are present in green and yellow color. So for the molecular study, docking studies between the MPRO and the phytochemical from the Bosenbergia, PDB files of main protease was utilized, N3 inhibitor was removed, polar hydrogens were added, blind molecular docking between the phytochemicals and MPRO was carried out with the program autodocrina. Now why we do we have particularly selected prenilated chalcones because they have been reported to possess the significant antiviral properties in the previous studies. So in total, four different phytochemicals, including for cratogen A, B, and L, cratogen B, D, and L were studies. All of these cratogen basically showed the strong predicted binding energy with main protease virus of the SARS, main protease protein of the SARS coronavirus 2. And these compounds were also basically compared with the compound uh, of the known binding ability with MPRO, which is Campoferol. And among, uh, as per this uh, results, you can see that Cratchit and A, uh, L shows the least binding energy to the main protease of SARS coronavirus 2, that is minus 7.7. It is important to note that the least the binding energy uh, between the embryo and phytochemical, the stronger will be the binding affinity. So main protease 
protein of SARS corona 2 is categorically active as dimer. Each monomeric unit contains three domains, namely domain 1, 2, and 3. Although domain 3 does not directly participate in interaction, but if we remove domain 3, it will result into inactive protease for domain 3. And it is also important in dimerization. So again, the emphasis on the active amino acids, which are present at the catalytic side of main proteins of sars coronavirus 2 are histidine 41 and 16145. So moving towards the results, basically this is the depiction of the 2D diagram of interaction of the l cartesian A on the left side, whereby a cartoon diagram of the poral interaction is present on the right side. So here we can see that uh, Three different interactions were observed between the l and A and main protease amino acid residues, including conventional hydrogen bond, pi sulfur bond, and alkyl bond. Moving towards the d A, uh, interaction of d A with amino acid residues of main protease is shown on the left side, whereby cartoon diagram of the polar interaction is shown on the right side. So here we can say that again, the four different type of interaction were observed, including the active amino acid of the main protease that is cysteine 145. Uh, now this is another diagram for the interaction of l cartesian B with the main protease amino acid residues uh, on the right side, uh, on the left side, on the right, right side, we have the cartoon diagram of the polar interaction. So again, we can see that three different type of interaction were observed between the uh, crutches in B and amino acid residues of main protease of sars coronavirus 2 including conventional hydrogen bond, an alkyl bond, and pi alkyl bond. So all these amino acids also include one of the main active amino acids, which is present at the catalytic site of main protease of sars coronavirus 2 that is cysteine 145. So lastly, this is the 2D diagram of interaction of D cratogen B with amino acid residues M pro and on the left side, whereby cartoon diagram on the right side. So again, three different interaction which includes the active amino acids of M pro, M, M -pro of SARS coronavirus 2. So this is basically the tabulation form of the non-bonding interaction between the amino acids of M pro and cratogen. So all of this we can see that apart from the other residues, there's a there's a interaction observed between the important active amino acids which is present at the catalytic side of M pro that is cysteine one four five. So interaction have been shown with cratogen B, whereby uh, uh, D cratogen B. L cratogen B also includes cysteine 145, which is the active amino acids at the catalytic site of M pro. And here, uh, if we talk about the D and L cratogen A, similarly, the apart from other amino acid residues of MPRO, so two active amino acids have been interaction between the active amino acid that is cysteine 145 have been observed with D cratogen A at one place, whereby with L cratogen A at two places. So overall summary of the interaction of amino acids of main protease with cratogens. So all of this amino acid, which includes active amino acid histidine 41 and 16145 are the important amino acid residues in main protease of SARS coronavirus 2. And they are also involved in the substrate binding. So this is the bi predicted binding energy for each of the cratogen. So D cratogen B showed in a minus 7.6 kilocalories. Uh, kilo calorie per, per mole with uh, and show it shows interaction with methylene 49 16 145 that is the important one and methylene 165 whereby l cratogen b shows the binding energy of minus 7.0 and again the important amino acids in, involved here that is 16 145 um, active amino acid at the catalytic site of m pro of the sars coronavirus 2 if we talk about the d cratogen a the predicted binding energy was minus 7.5 and it also shows the interaction with the 16145 similarly for l cratogen a the binding energy was minus 7.7 and it shows the interaction with the active amino acid of m pro that is 1615145 1, as well if we look at here the least binding energy was demonstrated by L cratogen A. So again, it is important to note here that the least the predicted binding energy, the higher will be the binding affinity. 
So moving towards the Lipinski rule of files. So what are the what is what does this rule says? According to this rule, molecules which are poorly absorbed by the intestinal wall would present any of these two characteristics. So those includes molecular weight will be more than five hundred. Lipophilicity, lip, lipophilicity will be more than lipophilicity log p will be more than five. Number of hydrogen bond donor groups will be more than five. Number of hydrogen bond acceptor groups will be more than ten. And the index of the molar refractivity will lie outside a range of forty to one thirty. But surprisingly, none of the criterion, none of the phytochemical for Bosenbergia violated any of this rule. So which shows that they have the potential drugability properties and they are considered to be well absorbed by the intestinal wall as well. So moving towards the conclusion, obviously in silico studies are not the end, but the beginning. And the results from this preliminary study suggest that pre-narrated chalcones have good potential to be SARS coronavirus 2 therapeutic. And of course, more studies are necessary, particularly in vivo and in vitro, to come up to a final conclusion. In the end, I would like to thank my mentor, late Prof. Muhammad Rahmatullah and Dr. Viranut and myself. Thank you so much for your kind attention.